The police came when we were in uh, Gatumene, Gatumene, yes. Gatumene Hotel. They were trying to block us. We actually abandoned our vehicles and rode border borders. It's only when they followed us and left the hotel that our vehicles were able to move out. But we were able to go through addressing people in the towns that uh, Honorable Munya you mentioned to you. They would needlessly throw tear gas in an act of cowardice because when people are just talking and uh, associating and expressing their will and they are not violent, there is no need to throw tear gas. So they've been following us the whole day and around 3.30 they blocked us at this junction behind this hotel to prevent us to go from Meru town. Uh, Mr. Toroitich, who appears to be commanding this battalion you see behind, telling us that we are not welcome in Meru. I asked him which law bars me or any of my colleagues from coming to Meru. He says we did not tell them. I don't know since when Meru became a police county where you have to notify the police when you are entering Meru. What they have done is illegal, it's unconstitutional. They have thrown tear gas to the three of us. There was no crowd, just the three of us at short range, injuring on Arabumunya on the ear where the tear gas landed and physically pushing us to prevent us from getting onto the main road. It's a very sad day. And I wonder why the Ruto illegitimate regime is afraid of people of Kenya talking to one another. We will be back. We will not agree to be barred from associating. And I want to congratulate Kenyans. Today, the demonstrations were organic and viral in most areas of our country. Let my colleagues say something. The citizens on the hardships they are going through. And it is our right as leaders to do so. That's what we came to do. But police, as usual, mobilized to come and uh, disrupt and uh, visit violence on us. And you can see every stop, where every place we want them to stop and rest people, before even we do, Tiangas is being thrown from uh, Makutano, Gatimene, uh, where we, we, we started, to Mudara, to Kangeta, to Lare, to Mailitatu, everywhere we stopped. And, uh, and it was needless because there was no violence. Citizens were responding because they are all facing the same problems everybody in the country is facing. But we are happy because we have been able to establish, because there are people who, who keep cheating people that Meru and Mount Kenya are not in these things. They are. They are facing economic hardship like everybody else. There is no fuel that is cheaper in Meru or cheaper in Mount Kenya and then more expensive in Nyansa or in Western Kenya. Everybody is facing the hardships that this regime has visited on us. Matatus, people cannot even afford to take a matatu to, to, to town anymore. Bonda bondas are being packed because they can't afford fuel. If you are paying 200 to fuel a bonda bonda, there is no ordinary person in this country who can pay 100 shillings, 150 to move from the local market to his home. So the youth are packing bonda bondas now because there is no business. And the regime is not listening. So we are going to continue to work with the people to ensure that the constitutional state that was created by our forefathers and those who fall on their raptor is not dismantled by a mad regime that is taking every right that is granted to us by the constitution for granted and attempting to create a fascist state. We will resist and we will continue. They can throw tiangas at us, they can do whatever they want. But we know the will of the people will eventually triumph. It's exactly how illegitimate regimes behave. They are fearful of their own people. From the, the, the minute we landed in this town, we have been uh, you know, chased around, blocked from talking to people where we wanted to talk to people using microphones. 
a regime that is so scared for the reason that they know that they are legitimate, they know that the concerns Kenyans have, and every single Kenyan is crying because of the high cost of living. We want to thank the people of Meru because they have received us at every center we were able to stop. And we also want to tell them that we will be back and um, we will be back in a big way. And even now we are not finished. But it is good to note that this officer in charge of this team that you are seeing behind here, Toroitich, he's called Toroitich, that guy in there, Julia Kopale, he is the one who gave instructions for the tear gas canister to be uh, thrown at us. And the canister that has hit Munya, Mpaka, he is breeding, you can see he's breeding behind the ear here. It is him who ordered for those tear gases to be thrown to us. Three people are not a crowd. And we were engaging, but they cannot even have the, the guts to talk. They are so scared. But I want to uh, again join my colleague in saying that wa Kenya, Musilale, our what wa kiachiliwa wa kai office even another day, it will be very painful for all of us. Tu amuke sis wote, na tusweke, ata na pia vijana wa Mount Kenya, naona wakiona askari na tia gazi wegini wawa wa natoroka. Kuigineko vijana wa toroki, you come on and face the people who are uh, stopping them from, uh, uh, stopping you from listening to your readers. Kwa hivo, pia nyinyi mjipatipatia mticha. We will be together with you. And finally, those, those leaders from Mount Kenya who are still waiting to see what is happening. Mujio watu hamuko na yao. Kama we unataka kujua pali watu wako, tokesea maadamano. Usaidi wa Kenya. Kwanza wale walipiticha hii bili kule bunge, hao di wako na shida. We want them out here also to tell Kenyans why they allowed this high cost of living through the finance bill.